Hi guys, how are you? I am Rosalind from lindsiret.com and here I am with my July favorites. I know I'm a little bit late, but it's better late than never. And with new hair, I'm just kidding, it's a new wig. It's not new, but I've had it in my closet for a few years now. And I think Lynn was a baby when I first got it. But last time I wore this wig, I had someone tell me that I looked like if I wore the wig because I had a terminal illness. And I was like, oh my gosh, is that the impression that I give if I wear a wig that I'm sick? Because if I see a lady having nice hair, to me, I don't know, I can't tell the difference if they have a wig on or not. I don't know, but that person told me that and ever since then I'm like, I'm not gonna wear a wig because I don't wanna, I don't want people to think that I'm sick. But um, at the same time, I think a wig is fun because you don't have to worry about doing your hair. You just put in a wig and it's like good to go. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I wear wigs? Should I not? Should I get new ones? What do you think? But yes, let's get started with my favorites. And the first one is going to be beauty. So the first one that I have is this product right here, which I've had for many, many months. It's by the brand Shea Moisture and this is the thickening growth milk for your hair. This is to volumize and soften your hair. So what I like to do when I take a shower, so I let my hair dry a little bit and when it's still a little bit damp, I apply this all over my hair so that my waves are more like noticeable because I feel that my waves, they tend to just stay down and I feel like this just makes them look like more fun, like with more volume and it leaves my hair like looking like it's wet but not like too much and the smell on this is so good mm, it smells so good most of their products smell amazing and i've mentioned this before i'm not a big fan of like hair product scents like hair sprays i don't like the smell of those and if you can see it has the bunny so it is cruelty free and it's free of all these harsh ingredients that conventional products have but this one doesn't have so it's a great brand because that's that's like um, their main goal to create products that are natural much healthier for you so i love this brand love it i love how it leaves my hair and it smells so amazing so i just love it the next beauty product that i have is this no polish right here by elf and it's a fun summer color and i have been wearing this like this past few months this is the only color that i wear and as you can see even on my toes <laughs> And yes, it's a fun color. I don't know the color. It doesn't say the color, so I have no idea, but I'm gonna look it up because I know this is a color that I will want to buy again. It's a fun feminine color, and I think it's so pretty. It's like a pinkish, but at the same time, I don't think the camera will pick it up, but at the same time, it's like shimmery, like a golden, like an orange, which is really fun. So it's not just a solid color, and I just love it very, very pretty okay the next one that i have and this is more like fashion related is this bag right here which i've had for so long but at first i didn't use it much and then i started wearing it more and more and this is like my go-to bag this is where i put everything this is where i put my three essentials which is my phone keys and my money that's it but sometimes i do like to add a little bit more like my hand sanitizer coupons that i like having handy and a pen and that's it that's all I carry in my bag since it's just a small bag and I think it's great like on the go of course you want to have more things in my bag then I'll get a bigger bag but my go-to bag is always this one and in most of my photos I have this bag and it's so pretty it's black so it goes well with everything and I remember I got this bag from Ross so I don't know they might still have it on their official site, but it's by the brand XOXO and it's so pretty, it's so compact and I like to wear it on the side and it's getting a little bit old, but I love it. The next thing I have to talk about are these bracelets right here and it's for one is like a solid color, then this one with little beads, different colors, and then these two that have like a design to them 
and these bracelets I got from the site Miss A which everything is a dollar and I got four but from those four just two fitted me because I have a small hand and really small wrist so it's kind of hard to find things that actually fit me and I was so happy I don't know if this is like the girls section because they are pretty small and they fit me so perfectly and I think they're so pretty like if I'm on the go and I don't know what to wear I just put these on and it looks super cute, so feminine, very pretty, and I like gold. And they had other colors like um, the beads were like darker. And yeah, they had so many options. And I think these are great like for yourself or if you want to give your friends a beautiful gift because these are really nice. They look great quality. They don't look cheap, so I like them. The next thing I want to talk about is the first audiobook that I listened to. I am old-fashioned and I like having the hard copy of a book. I actually like touching the book and reading it on my own. So I wanted to get my first audiobook and I got this one by Carl. It's called The Lives of Carl Atman by Morris Wayne Walker. It's a fiction story. I've read a story similar to this one which is called Reincarnation by Suzanne Wayne which is another book that I have talked about and this had a similar concept to that which is a story of reincarnation so it's a story it's a love story about a couple that they live throughout different lives lifetimes and through different eras and each time they keep meeting again and again and each life that they have teaches them a lesson and so to me it's like a refreshing story like something so different like something so interesting to think about and I really enjoyed reading this story and if you go to Amazon and read the reviews for this story like you'll see it's got really great reviews and I really enjoyed it but I have to be honest if I listen to a book like this which was my first time listening to an audiobook I get distracted so easily so either I'll go back to reading books or I'll try again like a different story and listen to it again it's a great story if you want to read about love so yeah this is great now moving on to snacks slash food items the first one that I have is this peanut butter by Earth Balance but this one is mixed in with coconut if you know me from previous videos I've mentioned this before I love anything with coconut and this is a great product it has a really low percentage of sodium and what I like to do with this I usually grab like a, like about a spoonful and I add that to protein smoothie so usually my recipe is one cup of almond milk I'll add maybe one or two bananas depending on the size and then I'll add this for like extra protein or extra calories and it makes me feel full for a longer time and this tastes great I love it I also buy other food products by Earth Balance like their butter all they even have popcorn they have mac and cheese and everything is plant-based everything is vegan so yeah I love this product it tastes so yummy it's so good so yeah love it the next thing that I have is this tea, tasso, and this is the blend of green tea, lemongrass, and spearmint. And if you can see, the level caffeine is like right in the middle, so it's not too much and it's not too low. I like having this on those days that I'm starting to feel kind of sleepy in the day and I feel like I need to wake up or sometimes in the morning I'm not a coffee person I always prefer tea over coffee and what I like about this tea I've had four um I've had four flavors in total and what I like about this when I can leave the tea back in the cup like forget about it and when I go back to my tea it doesn't taste as strong whereas the other ones I have to be really careful to leave it in for two minutes if not the the tea taste will be too strong almost to the point of tasting like bitter and of course if you add sugar it's gonna be fine but I'm the type of person that if I have tea I don't like adding sugar to my teas and in case I do I like um, brown sugar or coconut sugar in instead of the white sugar which is processed and it's not really recommended it's not too good for you and yeah I like this because it has a subtle flavor and it tastes great and apart from that I love the packaging I love how they always add, depending on the tea, they add a picture of the ingredient against a white background and it makes that pop 
I like the modern look of their packaging. I just love it so much. It's so pretty. So yeah, I love this tea. And the last food item that I have to talk about is this veggie patty. This is the chicken patty by Boca. And I like getting this from my local grocery store when they have it. Buy one, get one free. And this is a great alternative for those who are transitioning from eating meat to a vegetarian or a vegan diet or, or for anyone really that likes trying out new foods. And it's also great even for those if you're trying to lose some weight. This one has fewer calories than meat derived from animals and this is completely plant-based so it's so good. I like having these in like sandwiches or burgers. I like making mine with bagels and it comes out amazing. It tastes so so good like real chicken. I haven't had chicken for so many years now. It's so delicious. Sometimes I'll even have it with rice so I'll fry it up or sometimes I heat it up in the oven and it tastes so good, so amazing. And I've had other veggie patties and this one has to be my favorite. And this one, for example, has soy protein. It has water, salt, spices like black pepper, onion, sugar, flour. So yeah, very basic ingredients and most of their products are vegetarian but I know this one for sure it's vegan. So this is why I like this. So yummy, so good. So this is it you guys for my July favorites and once again let me know what you think about my wig. Should I put it on again? Should I just forget about it? And I hope you have liked this video and as always you can find me on other social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest and as always if you have liked this video you can give it a like, you can comment, you can share or you can subscribe and thank you once again and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.